Hey guys and welcome back, you and Forrester here. Now I just want to show you a bit more about the Gus MSP um, and show you some other signals that I've developed. So you guys may have seen the first video that I produced and that was on ADUSD. We're still in that trade. We're gonna probably be in it for a few hours at least unless a stop takes us out first. Risk is always adjusted. Now I'm just gonna just minimize this, okay? And I wanna bring you in to this. So welcome to MSP 1.0. You guys can see the assets that are preloaded, EURUSD, GPPUSD, AUDUSD, USDJPY, and USDCAD. Now, uh, again, we've gone for that number two, which is a pin bar on AUDUSD. We're gonna trail it and see how long it goes. Um, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I'm also gonna show you MSP 1.5, okay? So you guys pay attention and look at my screen. Now, this MSP 1.5 is the software okay that develops more signals so as you guys can see here on the left hand side we've got signals developed for the GBP CAD and the AEDCHF now if I, you can obviously click on the twos etc so for example if you want to click on GBP, uh, GBP CAD just click on number two like so and what usually happens is that the chart will actually be pulled up okay you can see the signal that was developed here okay so you, minus the the risk uh, you know parameters that i've input here now this is a completely separate indicator if you guys do want to create something like that um i'll be obviously more than welcome to but let me know down in the comment section obviously that's something i can get developed but this pin bar is the one i'm really paying attention to at the moment i haven't gone into this trade but i just looked at it um as to say you know there's a pin bar that has developed after a huge right up rise in price and now obviously prices now start to fall away. Now, if you're going with a risk, say for example, I don't know, 2.5 lots, uh, you know, risk is around 283 pounds and obviously the reward is 329 if it makes it down to this nearest demand zone. You can see a demand zone because you can see exactly where prices shot up. It literally just bolted out of this area, didn't waste any time and just shot right out of there. Now that is obviously the target zone if this was in this trade. So just to let you guys know that, you know, these things are possible uh, depending on how your risk parameters are actually set up. Um, I think we go across to the AUDCHF, another outside bar was given there. I have to zoom in so you guys can see it. Okay, AUDCHF, uprise in price, halts at resistance, forms this outside bar, and obviously now I can see price trying to hurt its way back down to that demand zone down here. Okay, so just around this area here, it's gonna have a bit of trouble here because obviously the 20 SMA, which is a, what we call a dynamic um, support zone. That means it's moving. Um, and obviously you've got the support or you've got demand down here as well, as long as with the 200 SMA as well. So if we go over here to set up our risk parameter, so say we use this, click this, get rid of that. Um, let's minimize this cart in here. Let's get this up, this, just loading up so you guys can see. So the open would have been around there. To me, this trade is a bit too risky to take uh, simply because the bar has widened up so much. You can see how wide that bar is. Uh, so you have to go for a very big um, take profit zone, which isn't ideal for most traders. So you can see how big this bar is here. But either way, the, pro the trade has gone into profit. So it would have gone into profit had you entered in this area here. A stop loss above the high setting up for a risk to reward of one to one if you're trying to aim for this area down here which is look like it's trying to hurtle down to um sod's law really this is how things actually play out so this is why i say it's probably never good to always cherry pick your trades you just want to make sure that you take everything that msp or msp 1.0 has to offer but for the sake of this video i'm solely focusing on msp uh, 1.0 which you guys can see over here which is i've got around five um different assets for you to trade from um, and obviously you've got around six different signals to pick from um, but i'm particularly focused on h1 for the purpose of this video h1 h4 d1 so kind of longer term trades um, whereas signals that were developed for the gbp cad and aedc hf they were done through msp 1.5 if that makes any sense okay so that way you've got more assets to choose from. You've got over 32 assets to choose from. And so you can kind of, like I said to you, take everything that uh, develops rather than picking and choosing what you want to do or what you want to trade. So I'm pretty much happy that what I'm gonna do is with, uh, again, with the AUDUSD, it's something that I feel that will be in for quite some time. 
Um, I don't believe it's going to rocket off into our favor straight away. It might even we might even take it L on this trade, uh, a loss. So it means seven hundred twenty-five pounds down. Uh, but at least we know that we've gone for a, you know a profit target in mind, and the, I believe the first, uh, well, I should say the first, the last, the final destination was around here, okay, and that was around fourteen hundred pounds sitting, making this trade uh, two to one. Whereas if you want to extend that trade and thought to yourself, okay, well, if the trade goes into profit, I'm going to adjust my stop loss. The trade's here. I'm going to adjust my stop loss and bring my stop loss down beneath that trade, okay? So then what happens if the market comes back up, it clips your stop loss, but you still will be breaking even or you would have made a little bit of profit versus losing everything, okay? I was going to say losing everything, but you know what I mean, losing the amount that you've gone into the market with. So again, we're running a trade, uh, you know, there's nothing much to talk about with this one. Again, it's very, very, very small and significant to the account size that I'm using at the moment. I am going to continuously watch it, monitor it. Um, and again, if it does go into well's our favor, what do we do? We bring that stop loss down so it then kind of it mitigates the risk, okay? You're in profit. So that's what we're looking for. That's what we're aiming for. I am looking at these zones, uh, especially the one down here, as you guys can see, this is the big, what we call the big daddy zone right down here, okay? This is where demand really is. Um, and the, 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 the low end of the chart, and that's a, you know, if you think about the risk to reward ratio on that, that's roughly a five to one, okay? So a five to one trade, that means you're risking one to make potentially five back. Or monetary wise, you're risking 725 pound 96 to make over five grand, okay? But it is gonna take some time. If it works in favor, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, that's how trading works, you know? I think with a lot of people, they, when they do get into this trading game, they feel that they, they're in control of the charts or where prices actually go, and that's not the actual case. You know, you're relying on another trader on another part of the world to facilitate that trade as well. You know, with a, they obviously have a bigger account size, a much bigger account size to, or a collective group of traders to move the market, okay? The only thing that you can do really is control, control your risk, okay? So if trade is there and you've gone into a trade and you, you know, you've bought the trade or you don't think the trade, it's either it works or it doesn't work. You put your stop loss above, you set where you want your, your target to be, you kind of break the trade down as it goes in your favor and you take it from there, all right? So look guys, I'm gonna bring you in in probably a part three uh, for this AD USD, it's going to be uh, quite some time, but I just want to give you a bit of an update. Obviously, the GBB CAD, uh, AUD CHF. Um, these are trades that are developed, obviously, were developed on MSP 1.5 versus MSP 1.0. Okay, so you can see the difference there, and obviously, more signals that will be developed, giving you more chances of getting to a profitable trade. All right. So if you do want me to develop a risk parameter, okay, so which you guys can see here. If you want to obviously see your targets uh, your open and obviously stop us before you get yourself in trade, you want to develop something like that, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon.